Okay. Okay. Okay, so we This hour of the day, we are shooting it live from a kinky joint. Yeah. It's my better talking came about the Yemi Honia Mana. We will talk about the issue, don't worry. We have a serious issue to talk about, but let me eat first. Food is in fish. You are using that, that, that lens, I don't like. If you make my teeth yellow in the video, I'll kill you anyway. My cono green one and I red. What a oh, shit up. Mama shit up your eye. You say. Well, I'm more, it is about a girl's But we have a serious issue to talk about on Yahoo of the day today. So this kinky joint is in my hood. I'm trying it for the first time and I'll combine it with Yahoo of the day. I need to eat. It will be every day. I can't shout bass, my nigga bass. Welcome to today's episode. Uh -huh. Okay. Today is coming. Okay. All right. So let's go. Let's go. Uh. Eh, hey, mi bone ya, ma mena raba. Okay. Need to wash my hand. Yes, you have to wash your hand. We are in a pandemic, a Panasonic. U di di ano akron sa. Munya sa, you know. Okay, so the can can here be two cities and Yes, the woman say, okay, if it's soft, sorry, Mr. Sorry. Okay, so this episode of Yahoo of the Day is from the Kinky Joints. Yes, um, accommodate me. Me, they're my video guy. Mm -hmm. Now, Leo Nas X, or so whatever his name is, the guy has been trending for, hey, Carbon, for some reason, you understand? He released a music video, Montero, whatever it is. And in the music video, you know, your man, they twerk to Satan. Well, well, yeah, yes, um, he did twerk to Satan. Like, he's basically into Satanism right now. The music video has been trending. People have been commenting about it, with parents even saying, said, they are going to prevent their kids from watching his music videos henceforth. Uh, you know uh, Leo Nas or Leo X Nas, whatever his name is. Look at the house fly. Look. Started um, his career. I mean, he has a lot of um, Gen Z's following him because of, I'm, I'm going to take my hood to the old town, whatever he's doing. You know, that song appeals to the, the Gen Z's and kids. So he has a huge number of kids following him. You understand? And to just switch to this form of worshipping Satan and trying to normalize Satanism and all those things, it'd be weird what they are saying. So, as I said, the music video has been trending, and a lot of celebrities, some are saying, he said, um, he's bold enough to put out um, such a creative piece, you know, right now everything is art to some people. So, yes, yeah, some are saying, he said, he's bold enough to come out. I mean, he, he has come out to say, say he's gay. So, people are saying, he said, um, he, he's he, basically the connotation of that music video is said, um, He's willing to go to hell. If he's gay and he's going to hell, he's willing to go to the hell. So yes, that is the connotations, the connotations that people or the mean, the infirmment that people have gotten from the music video. So we thought, oh, this one, normal. 
Then your man go partner with some shoe company. They say they are going to release Satan shoes. Satan shoes. Now, I don't know. Say if you, they, I don't know what they wrong the guy. Now, the things that they take make the shoe, eh? or how the shoe is boxed, they go, it go, it go shock you. Now people are saying, say, um, Nike partnered with him and things. No, Nike didn't partner with Lil Nas X. Some company, M something something company, bought the shoes from Nike, and they are going to recreate it to fit into the Lil Nas X's narrative. That's satanic thing. No. So yes, it is not Nike's um, partnership. Some third party people they do them. Apparently, they have been doing it for a very long time. They did um, Jesus something, Jesus Christ shoe or whatever they call them. So yes, um, so that is not from Nike, but. The component or the things them take make the shoe and it be mind busting. You see, then they call the shoe, um, what Satan shoe, whatever it is. It has the pentagram, it has the 666 um, number or the 666 inscribed on it, and it also has a drop of human blood. Yes, the shoe has a drop of human blood, and that is what has triggered a whole lot of conversation on social media. I say, this guy is overdoing things. What I say. You are free to worship your Satan and whatever you want to do, but to go to the extent of what? Creating a shoe that has a, a drop of human blood. It doesn't make sense to me. Personally, me, it doesn't make sense to me because it be like the guy that overdo things. We understand it. You want to worship Satan. You want to do all those things because you are in America. And America allow allows for all those all those nonsense. What did I say? That is oh yes. Yes, I mean, yes, that is what is happening. Feel free, but you see, this guy has a lot of followers, and they are kids. And imagine, say, your kid come back from school. You go open Lil Nas or Lil S Nas in YouTube page. The first thing you see, be say, your man, they twerk to Satan. The next thing be say, they, they sell shoes where it has a, a, a drop of human blood. Where are we going? Really? 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 Hmm? Where are we going to? You know, you mentioned to me. It's when you're popping, popping, popping. Ah! You know, they make sense. Why? So, yes. Um, I feel like. Your man really do overdo things. Oh, I mean to you. I don't go buy some. I feel like your man they overdo. He do overdo that thing. This satanism thing, then this sexes and a drop of blood and things. It is too much. Too much. Too much. And I don't know the kind of or the form of validation he they seek from people. I don't I don't understand. You started your, your career nice now, all town roughly they say that the guy that work on Satan. We are no boon It is not nice. So me, nah, me, I don't know. He did a video in the, the title the in the caption, he said, said, Oh, he's gonna apologize. When you click on the music, when you click on the video, the video, <laughs> he just, the vi it will start with a video of him in a room and it will switch to the music video of the Satan, the one that he's talking with Satan. And it is sad, bro. It's like, he's unapologetically, mm, did I say it right? Unapologetically doing this and he doesn't care about what society would say. That's fine. But at the end of the day, you should understand that if be humans and they consume your content, you understand? When the parents started complaining, he said, sir, it is not his job to take care of your case for you. If you don't, if it is your job to make sure, sir, your case, they don't consume such content. What do you say? So it is not his job. If you see that your kid is consume, <laughs> consuming such form of content, prevent him from doing that. You understand? So that is what he said. He said, according to him, he doesn't care. It is your job as a parent to, to, to take care of your kid, to, to guide him through what he consumes. Fine. But you see, this thing you overdo him. Me, I personally, I feel like your man they overdo him. So um, I don't know what he's going through in life. I don't know what you're going to him. 
But this is sad, bro. This is sad. But it's very, very sad. Well, I'm sure say when the shoe comes out, people are still going to buy it regardless, you know. We will talk and talk and talk. The same way that Jesus shoe, you know. It, 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 it was sold out to me. The same way. Oh, oh ah. The same way this one too will be sold out. So yes, that is the society we live in right now. Into yes. My name is Kujo Sheldon. Um, uh, you'll be my video guy in the sofa. I nearly dance on. You know what I mean, my nibi? Mm. Mm. You know what kind of video? My punk.